good, beautiful Friday morning. All my inspirational tea sippers, this is Shantara and welcome back to my channel, you guys. I pray that you are well, doing amazing, feeling amazing, holding on to hope and faith. Because, like, what else will we be doing? If you ain't dying, you're holding on to hope and faith. Hopefully. Prayerfully. I don't have anything on my heart that I want to say this morning. I know. <laughs> Shocking, right? I am on my way to you know where. And you know, I, I did have to like pray. Not kind of like pray, pray, but just like say, Lord, please forgive me, you know, for, you know, my heart and where it's at right now with this job. You know what I'm saying? Because my mental health. I'm de I still I'm dealing with my mental health every day. And then I have to go in here and deal with their mental health every day, and it's just like it's taxing. And not only that, to get up and be working a job every day that's literally not paying the bills, it's kind of like okay, I'm not interested anymore. <laughs> I'm not interested. I'm not interested. I'm not rushing to go to work. I'm not, I'm still enthusiastic and I feel like it's still a blessing. And I still feel like, you know, you know, I still love what I do. It's just, I'm not interested. I need more money. And I'm pretty sure a lot of us feel that way in these times. Like I need more money to be able to stay, sustain and keep these kids in this house. Well, apartment. So that's how I'm feeling. I'm just like, you know, like when you get done with a job and you just be like, oh, man, you ain't rushing no more to get to work. You ain't enthusiastic about getting the job done. You just doing your best. Still performing, still treating everybody with love, kindness, and respect. But at the end of the day, <laughs> it's time to G.O. Oh, come on, Cass, let's go. That's real talk. But it's Friday. I pray that you guys week was better than the last. I pray that things are looking up for you financially in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that you are, you know what I'm saying? Just holding on to hope and faith, knowing that this this too shall pass these times, this recession, this. And I'm just like, come on, Lord. I'm expecting some income due to a few things that I had going on. I'm expecting a couple of couple of little chips coming, but I just don't know when. And I'm not going to stress about it. I'm not going to rush the Lord. I'm expecting two checks. Don't know what they'll look like. Don't know when they'll be here. But, you know, with that and me looking for a new job, I'm, I'm about to be looking for me cleaning this weekend, like detail cleaning, and looking for me a new job. That's on the agenda for this weekend. And even though I got to go to work tomorrow, tomorrow I'm going to do my office work and I'm going to be looking for a new job. So, it's Friday. I said that already. Uh, hopefully I can get a bottle of wine or something. Oh, it's time to be on the road with these people. Father, Father. intentionally that's what I can say I can say that I have been intentionally not overworking or stressing myself about out about things that I can't control you know what I'm saying and accepting accepting things for what it is like God is gonna work everything out I'm not supposed to stress myself worry myself and if rent due on the third I don't get paid to the seventh hell you just gonna get paid on the seventh got a late fee i figure it out we'll figure it out and get paid i'm not supposed to be worried about nothing 
I can't besides what I already got going on at the house. I'm not about to be worried about you, what you got going on, how you trying to get it done, and this, that, and the other, and baby, listen, for what? For freaking what? I've been recording on this 13 camera on 4K30. I'm spitting. <laughs> this coffee good. Cafe, Bolista, whatever. The yellow one. So this morning I'm recording on 60. 4K on 60, so we'll see. But um, yeah, I'm not about to worry about nothing that I cannot control. I'm not about to be worrying about all this extra yacht, 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 yacht. I'm just to turn this camera off and get into some praise and worship. Thank the Lord for a blessing me to see another day. Thanking him for what he's doing in my life. Thanking him for, and I can feel, I can honestly feel a shift. I can feel something different. I don't know what it is. I don't know what, nothing, nothing, nothing. But I do know that what's to come for me and what's happening with this, with the shift that I feel is I do know, and I'm going to tell myself this every day, that you are deserving of everything that is coming your way. You are deserving of new finances. You are deserving of a healed family. You are deserving to be happy. You are deserving to, to write a book. You are deserving, you know what I'm saying, to have a successful YouTube channel. You are deserving to have, you know, you know, a newfound family, which is you guys. You know what I'm saying? Learning and growing and loving on each other together. I deserve all of this stuff. I really, really do. I've been through the mud. I deserve this stuff. We are very deserving of what's getting ready to happen to us. I said that before, but it's true. We are deserving. And I'm getting my thoughts together on what I'm going to say to the year 2022 as we're going into 2023. That, that video is going to be like so emotional. So freaking emotional because what I want to say to 2022 is, is, yeah. Yeah, and I'm not gonna say new year, new me. No, da, 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 da. no. I'm just gonna keep on pushing and keep on trucking, keep making the small changes, keep, you know what I'm saying? Keep putting myself first, keep doing little things for self self-care and self-love and self-respect and keep moving forward in God. And I'm just gonna continue to just walk and be better every single day that is the goal some people you might come on this channel and you might not agree with some of the stuff i say or you don't think that i should be saying some of the stuff i say but baby i've grown so much and there's so much more growth to be had you just gotta stick with the script baby stick with the script stick with the script god is about to do some amazing things not only for me but for you guys and not just say oh god I'm about to no put in the work put in the effort do what's necessary talk to God, seek his face, you know what I'm saying, he knows your heart, he knows who wants to make the changes, he knows your desires, he knows everything, and so to God be the glory, it's happening, it's 8 16 this morning on a Friday, TJ's birthday is coming up on Tuesday, I'm thinking we might do something for him, something small, it's just us, there's no family or nothing here, so his birthday is on the 22nd he'll be six he's getting ready to start his first day of school ever on monday i'm excited for that so we're going to celebrate him on saturday and um saturday when i get off work yep we're gonna celebrate him saturday when i get off work so i have to go to work i go to i work on saturdays um that way I'm off on Mondays to keep, I already told y'all, repeater, keep Mondays open for appointments and things I have to do with the kids. So that's what we're doing. I'm about to pray. I'm about to go into prayer and worship this morning. And so I'll, I'll keep you guys on my mind. I always pray for you guys. I always pray for you guys. I hope that you guys are praying for me and my family too. 
and keeping me uplifted. And you know what I'm saying? When you do say a little prayer for yourself, throw one in for you, girl. Oh, uh, Cause I throw one in for you guys all the time. I pray for you guys. I pray for those who are grieving. I pray for those who are financially having a problem right now. And like God was saying, when I get ready to pour these bless, financial blessings on you, you, I don't, I'm gonna be good because ain't no giving nothing to nobody. Nope, not in this season. Not in this season, not in this time. So, you know, things are getting ready to change. <laughs> things are getting ready to change. And I pray for you guys. I always do. I always do, y'all. I always do. I pray God's favor, his blessing over you and your family. I pray that he strengthens you every single day. That he gives you the, the wisdom, the knowledge. That he increases our discernment. That's another thing I've been praying for. Lord, increase my discernment. Increase my discernment. Remove, replace, and reveal in Jesus' holy, mighty name. That's all I have to say. I don't want to be before you long on this beautiful Friday, you guys. Enjoy your weekend. It's so much happening in this world. Baby, listen. That's another reason why I need to give worship in my spirit. It's so much happening in this world, and it is so disgusting. That stuff weighs on your spirit, too. So I... I hear it, I see it, but I'm not, I don't read into it. I can't dig into it too much. I speak about certain things about with the girls, but other than that, look to the hills from which cometh your help in Jesus' holy, mighty name. And until the next time, inspire, be inspired. I love you guys. God bless you. Good day.